Hi, we are Mike and Brenda Baker, and today we're going to be talking about remarriage and stepchildren, why all the kids in the house are your kids. Now, you probably already saw one video for, from us, so what I want to tell you is this, that we are a mixed family. We're, we've been remarried. We've been remarried 24 years. We have five kids and we did not do everything right. It was five boys, by the way. I know some of you are rolling your eyes. Um, I have all the gray <laughs> hairs to prove it. <laughs> yeah, try, try feeding five boys sometime at the same time. But the point is, is 24 years, we're still best friends. Okay. We had uh, prayer marriages, obviously, that did not go well. We had our own blame in those and we're not going to sit here and say otherwise. So all the things, all the tips and all the, the things that we're bringing you are tried and tested. Okay. They're not things that we just said. Oh, this sounds like it'd be a good idea. This is stuff that we've actually done, stuff that we've actually seen work, and, and things we've seen not work, which is why we want to warn you against them. So, so with that, obviously, why all the kids in the house are your kids. One is you chose to marry someone with kids. Sorry, there's no getting around it. This is this topic is uh, probably one of the biggest hotbeds I would say between couples is because we see the your kids, my kids. Your kids, my kids is not a good idea, and I'll tell you why in just a little bit. But for the most part, you chose. You chose to marry somebody with kids. You chose to say, I want you, therefore I want your baggage. Well, and baggage is really something that is important to remember. Those children, they are really special and awesome. And I know that they come with a lot of trouble of their own. Sometimes they're autistic. Sometimes they have learning challenges. Sometimes they don't like your kids if you have kids as well. Uh, blending is never, <laughs> ever going to be uh, easy of any sort. And so it's just important for you to start remembering you chose this, okay? The, the sooner that you take responsibility for your choice, we believe, that's the sooner that you can get past all of the garbage and get into the good parts of the remarriage. Yeah. You know, really choices. I've, I've always told my kids choices are neutral. They're dependent upon the information that we give them. So really choices are somewhat predetermined in our own minds because we already know what way we're going to lead. But we try to, we try to weigh things. And when you chose to marry somebody with kids, those kids, by the way, they needed a dad or they needed a mom or they needed a secondary figure because their life is in turmoil or has been in turmoil. Who knows if they get along? I mean, have we met mixed or have we met divorced couples that got along? Sure we have. I can count them on one hand mm -hmm. out of the hundreds that we've come across because typically they do not. So when you're choosing to love a man or a woman, you're also choosing to love that which comes with them. Well, and we also like to take the stand, and this is very important to us because this is really the root of why we've worked. Yeah. But we take the stand that God knew what choices were going to be made mm -hmm. before they were ever made, and he chose you to be that step parent. There is a lot of power in that. Even if you're not a religious person, it's important to know that you were chosen. This wasn't a happen chance thing that happened. It was something that actually was calculated by someone that's not human. Okay. <laughs> and so it's really important to remember that yeah. because that gives us a lot of power as step parents, even when things are going bad with maybe the ex yeah. or the stepkids or the blending of your kids and their kids, that can be really difficult. But if you think of it in those terms, it helps you to have, I don't know, what would you say, hun? Uh, well, it helps you define. I mean, you know, she's right. These kids are special. These kids were picked. Okay. And, and so I've often told people, I've told a lot of couples this, all right. And whether you believe in God or not, it's irrelevant. Okay. This will apply to you. Okay. So out of all of human history, from the beginning to the end, these kids could have been with anybody, but they were picked to be with you. Out of all of people in history, you were the one that needed to raise them. You were the one that needed to assist in their lives. You were the one who needed to guide them, all right? And not all kids who are born to you are the ones who end up your kids. In our particular instance, I have two from a prior marriage. She had one from a prior marriage, and we have two together. I adopted hers, 
And he has only ever really known me as dad, although he's known as real dad, but that's a different story for a different time. Why? Because I chose to be his dad. I would not come with her unless I was totally willing to treat him as my own. Well, and ladies, let me just say, and let me just get really, really real with you here. Mike was the, Mike was the one that taught me how I should treat his, his boys because I didn't know. Uh, he happened to be an expert and I don't even know how because he'd never really done it before. <laughs> uh, but he taught me by his actions how I should act toward his children and how I should feel um, when the blending process was happening. He encouraged me by his actions. And I just really want to hone, or I just really want to key in on that point because you, you are the example for your spouse just as they are for you. And that's yeah. an important point here. Yep. I, I honestly feel uh, dads and husbands, we set the tone for the house and that's very important. And that was a big chunk of why I did what I did. But for me, it was just, it was a natural decision. I know for others it's harder, but it doesn't change the fact it needs to be made. So segueing, or did you have something else? I, I did. Um, you know, men, I just got to tell you from a woman's perspective, from a wife's perspective, my, my respect of Mike is huge because he chose and he stuck to his choices. He didn't just eh, kind of half, half job it, as I, I like to say. He, he did it all full heart, doing everything he could for my son. And then when he became his own son, when he adopted him, and all the, the other sons that we had in the household, he always made a point to make everybody sure that they were his favorite. They were all his favorites. Yeah. Which moves into number two very well. Number two, number one being you chose to marry someone with kids. Number two being true blending means everybody. It doesn't mean that you, you have your money and they have their money. You have your kids and they have their kids. That's not what it means at all. True blending means you either put that family together as a unit or don't bother putting the family together. Now, an important point on that, and correct me if you disagree, mm -hmm. but I really think that an important point on that is when it comes to discipline, when it comes to the exes, sometimes you're going to have to have the stiff upper lip because your spouse can't deal with their ex. Um, that was the case in our situation. Um, there was a lot of angst. We had a very high conflict bio, bio mom, and she made everything as hard as possible. And frankly, I didn't care how she treated me. I, I could care less. And honestly, it was at the time, it was better for me to go and pick up the children than it was for Mike to go and pick them up himself. So you got to figure out what is going to work best for you. We're just giving the overall what we believe and what's worked for us in our family. Yeah. So, but true blending, once again, means everybody. It means that mom and dad are an office, not, not a personal thing, all right? So what if the kid calls the boyfriend in the other house dad? So what if he calls the girlfriend in the other house mom? It doesn't change who you are. So true blending means everybody's involved. So with that, number three, the whole your kids, my kids thing. Did you want to throw in? Oh dear. This is one that we see all the time. Uh, we know many people and have helped many people that have a child from a pre previous marriage and then they get married and eh, that, that other child is just kind of pushed off to the side because they're not my kid. But let me tell you something. Can you imagine how that child feels when they are being treated differently than everybody else? So you as a couple really need to be together on yeah. what you choose to do with the children, how you choose to blend your family together and those sorts of things, because it will make a difference in your future. Absolutely. I mean, granted, we've touched on this a little bit already. All right. But it's really important that we really drive this home. The your kids, my kids thing will break the marriage. If you, if you have that as a model, just plan to be the statistic. All right. It's not going to work. Why? Because that kid already has anxiety. That kid already has, why doesn't my dad love me? Why doesn't my mom love me? Why don't mom and dad? They've got all these things whirring around in their head and now you're going to say, you go talk to your, your parent about that, that's not me. 
Now, like Brenda was saying, yeah, discipline can be awkward. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's something you guys are going to have to figure out between you because obviously X is, you know, that outside influence makes a difference on how you're going to discipline certain kids at certain times. But, but with that, do not walk into it with a your kid, my kid attitude. Walk into it with these are our kids and this is our family. Well, and a lot of the times what we see is that the, the bio parent in the household just doesn't see what their children are doing, but nitpicks what the stepchildren are <laughs> yeah. doing at all times. And that is the reason that we take the stand that you, it will break your marriage if you don't blend, totally blend without the, it, they're your kids, they're my kids and different rules for everybody. You need to be united. Wouldn't yeah. you say? Yeah. And with that, I'll say one last thing. The whole, uh, well, I've, I've tried. I've tried, Mike. I've, tr I've, I've tried dealing with that kid and it just doesn't work. All right. Let me tell you what you did. You tried and then you quit. And don't think that kid doesn't see that you quit. All right. Step up. Whether you're the husband or the wife, step up. You're the adult. Set the tone. Set the example. They need it. So that's it for today. And we just thank you so very much for being here with us and allowing us into your family in this way. You know, we really want to make an impact uh, that is much more than the impact that we've already made in our family and in our community and with others. And so if you see value in this and you feel like there's somebody else that you know that would benefit from seeing this, we just would really appreciate it if you would share this video with them. And we would also appreciate and love to hear your comments on this video. So we hope to see you soon. We hope to talk to you again and just go ahead and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.